Great closers, they don't change their state when they're under fire. When you change your state, the customer sees it and then the trust is gone. And what you see right now is enthusiasm. But what happened in how I made money is I have conviction. When somebody gets sold, it's because somebody has more conviction on the way they believe than the other person, am I right? Therefore, you believe my way, and that's being sold. What does persuasion mean? Well, it's called the transfer of emotion. I take the way I feel, and I push it into you. Can you make a thousand dollars a day? Yes or no? Okay. Everybody in this room has the ability to make this. Every single one of you. You got enough customers. You just got to be ruthless. You have to be someone they've never seen in their life. I don't want you to be a car salesman. People are sick of car salesman. Being an advisor. Be someone they haven't seen. When we negotiate, we're not going to say things anymore like up to, no more than, meet me in the middle, reward yourself, your life's worth it. Your neighbors just said that and they walked out. The guy they bought their last car from said, I want you to learn how to sit in there close and be confident. And these three words that I wrote down, fearless, bulletproof confidence. To get triggered, it means to be shocked, right? Being shocked shakes people. To be triggered, it's, it means to get your feelings hurt. How many times? This is so funny, man. This is this is just comical. Guy tells you on the lot, he's no bodyguard, comes inside and says, you know what, man, I'm not gonna buy a car anymore. All of a sudden salesman gets butt over. You were great, you're in a good at good mood, or I fire up, energetic, laughing with him, and you get shaken. And you know what happens? You change your state. You are gonna get told no before you get told yes, right? People want to tell you no before they buy. So will you be scared of no anymore? No. And my goal is after the day, some of you guys, you're sitting here like, hey man, I don't want an objection. Dude, you need to get out of here with objections. Objections are what people did before they purchase. Every time before someone gets close to buying, they try to talk themselves out of it real quick. Am I right? And that's where the salesman comes in. And that salesperson gives them ideas, they paint pictures, and they give them reasons and excuses why they should go ahead and buy it. And if you're there and you do that, they will buy it. Like this. And then on the other side, it's how you overcome it. And what you can do is go home and you're like, hey, I don't have anybody at work that wants to role play with me. You say, hey, baby, I'll give you your foot rub right now. Do me a favor. You just tell me that, and then you see if I get it right on the back. And then you start tapping the word tracks on your car. Your words either advance the sell forward or they take it backwards. How many times have you seen a salesman say one word through the whole deal? It happens all the time. How many times do we need to do this more often? All the time. And guess what? When you bring this stuff to the surface, all of a sudden, when you're outside on the lot and that stuff happens, you're like, you know what? I know exactly what to do right now. Let's just say you got a 2018 Ford F-150, 97,000 miles. I went and checked it out and I said, hey, you know what? I appreciate you showing me the truck, but I think the miles are a little bit too high, so I'm going to keep looking at it. Okay, is that based on seeing other trucks that have lower mileage or something like that? Or are you just interested in a lower mileage vehicle? Probably just a lower mileage vehicle. Okay, I've got over 103 on that 150, so let's go take a look at another one. Okay, let's act like you don't have a switch truck, okay? How do you sell me a high mileage truck? Okay, uh, what about the miles is, is intimidating to you, sir? Um, I just don't think I like that many miles in the truck. Okay, understandably, Ford's are one of the most dependable vehicles in the business, especially the F-150, and the number one selling truck for over 43 years. I wouldn't be too afraid of the miles, but if you are, I do respect that. Do you want to continue taking a look at this vehicle, or do you possibly want to see if we have something else? Okay, yeah, good. I love it. That was good. Hey, i got three more cars I want to go look at. We'll get out. Can I ask what you're looking at? Yeah, same cars. Same cars, just different just years, stuff. mileage, stuff like that? Well, actually, all kind of years, all kind of miles. Okay. But I just wanted to check them all out before I make a decision. Now, does, do you like this vehicle? Sure, yeah, it's great. Okay. Um, just to let you know, we do do very comprehensive service on all of our pre-owned vehicles. We do fix our vehicles if they break within the first month, 1,000 miles, so you get a little peace of mind there. Uh, before you go take a look at the other vehicles, why don't you step inside with me and I can show you what we can do for you on this one. That way you have some good information to compare the other ones with. Fair enough? Okay, cool. That was all right. So when someone says they got three more cars to go look at, that's an objection and more likely assault. Okay? Maybe they do have more cars. Yeah, lots of people do. Okay? But the idea is a lot of people feel like when they go through those doors with you, the last time they did, they end up staying and buying. Am I right? So if there's a time to ditch out, it's right now. Because they know what's going to happen if they go in. Okay? Hey, you did a good job. That was good. That was good.